three o'clock, so three o'clock time. But anyway, Magnus Ira Cider, classic pair. Cheers all. Tonight's dinner, we are going to be having a chicken stir fry. More than enough chicken now, I believe. Still on the little bit frozen side, but. stir fry not a stew so I will try cut them thinner right to be on the clean side I've got some water here which has some bleach in it some of this stuff on a regular basis. Jobs are good in. Okay, in with the chicken. vegetables which are going to take a little bit longer to cook like the carrots cauliflower baby corn I'm just going to go in whole punch down on loosen out just trying to get some more heat in the pan a lot longer than I intended to. I was um, busy with my phone as usual on Instagram. Just saying thank you to Uncle Dave, or shall I say UNCL, not the Uncle Dave in America. My ex-manager, all the likes. As you can see, it's a bit sticky at the bottom, but I'm sure it'll be fine in the end. Is cast iron after all. I won't be putting the lid back on. As you can see it's not needed. Get the onions in now. Should have gone in a little bit earlier than this, but never mind. It's all going to taste great. Is 
shoes. Chow mein stir fry. In with the broccoli. mushrooms and mini peppers. And again we're gonna get that back cooked for a little while. I'm actually thinking of adding a touch of water in there just to loosen up the bottom and to steam the vegetables. That to uh, raise the pot a little bit too hot. I'm going to add the remaining sachet of chow mein sauce. Again, it looks like I've cooked for the 5,000. By the sounds of it, I've got the 5,000 here. two packs of noodles to put in. I'm thinking that I'm only going to put the one in there. I don't need to. I'm going to lay these on top and they will get warm enough. They will probably start to separate as well. I've put the lid back on but as you can see only partially. That will allow any excess um, water to escape and obviously I don't want to boil the pants out of it. It's only going to take a couple more minutes and that's going to be done. Right, every single time I seem to um, get the camera out, there's a plane over or something else. Just about five, ten minutes ago I was just on the phone to my ex-manager, Dave, who's going to join me. I believe Sunday night. This was going to be a chicken stir fry. It's been. It was. I've took it off the heat 20 minutes ago, so it's probably a chicken stew now. But we will see. Here goes. I've had my back to it. I'm not even looked at it yet. Oh, ain't too bad. Got noodles in it. Yeah, a bit gloopy, but I'm sure that'll be fine. So there you go. Chicken stir fry stroke stew. As you can see, no rest for the wicked. We will see when it focuses. It's uh, nearly 8 p.m. on Friday. I think it's the 25th today. As you can see, the farms are still out in the fields doing what they do. And if I swing you around, we have a field full of campers. at Church Farm Ardley. That's one of their camping fields. The only problem is the um, toilets, compost toilets, just something you've got to get used to once you're, once you're happy with it, how you use it and all that lot, it's done. It's fine. Everybody else gets to use them so it's not a biggie. But if you don't like it you can always go back to the where the farm shop is and there's toilets there anyway. Proper toilets. 
and showers, I do believe. It's not worth the hassle. Every time you go near the shop, you end up buying stuff, like more meat and stuff. Their meat is nice, though, I must admit. Their bacon is to die for. Oh, their chili sausages. I might have to get some of them tomorrow. Take some back home with me because my son likes them and he's only got, I think, two weeks left now before he has to go back to Portsmouth um, to continue with his uni life. This will be his second year. So I might, if they've got any, I'll go buy some for him. Going away present. But the bacon be for me, even though my daughter loves bacon. So. I'll just tell her that um, nice and cuddly little piglet he was. She won't eat it then. Or she'll be one of those people who are crying while they're eating it. <laughs> <laughs> Today's breakfast is going to be biscuits with sausage gravy. Made some biscuits up, which is just like bread rolls type of thing. A cross between like bread rolls and scones, I think. I don't know how these are going to turn out, but here goes. They're not meant to be frying, but it is an oven. I will uh, put a lid on. Is an oven. Move some of the hot coals to the top. Like so. I don't want to take them all, but I do want to cook more from the top than the bottom. So I'll do the biscuits first, then I'll do the sausage gravy afterwards. And then to keep the, or get biscuits warm again, I will put them back in with the gravy, just layer them on top. I'm sure it'll be fine. I think that'll do for now. If I need any more, I'll make a fire on top. Biscuits have been in the oven, must be about 15 20 minutes now. I'm gonna have a little sneak peek just to see what I've got. I don't want to burn them, I'm probably close to doing it. I'll do this without getting too much ash inside. Oh, okay. a little bit doughy inside, I'll leave that for a little bit longer. I'm quite impressed with that actually, it's better than I thought. Another five minutes or so. It's been an extra five, ten minutes. I think that's it. This time, I may have burnt it. No. Unhappy with that. They look good to me. Oh, you can't make sausage gravy without a few sausages.
eggs and a Irish pork sausage. Just going to let that sizzle for a while. Thinking about adding other ingredients, normally you would just leave that salt, pepper, put your flour in, cook off your flour, add your milk, job done. But I've got a few vegetables I want to use up, might just be onions, and I'm going to put some bacon in there as well. Not just any bacon, but some maple back bacon. All good, eh? The uh, sausage has been cooking for a few minutes now. As you can see, they're starting to brown up. I'm going to now add bacon, which is maple bacon. I'm going to let that go for a few minutes. There's quite a lot of fat in them sausages, so I might have to drain some of it off. Not all of it, I still need the fat to. Um, fry off the flour. I might even, if I can, remove the meat, leave the oil in the bottom and fly, um, add flour and then fry it off that way. But we'll see. As you can just see through the smoke, the sausage meat and the bacon's ground off a little. Took a while to do it, but it's there. I'm going to add the onions now and let them soften up, maybe colour. Not too sure, there are many onions. It's just what I had left over yesterday from the um, stir fry. I tried to do, which turned out to be more of a chicken chow mein because I added noodles and what have you which um, tasted quite nice actually as one of my um, followers pull it I hope it tastes better than what it looks like personally I thought it was okay but it did taste um, really good so I suppose the answer to that question is yes I think this is going to be brown more than enough so I'm going to make it probably go with that some of the bacon's a little bit crispy which I like the meat is definitely browned the onions are softened so they've cooked I'm going to now add the flour cook off the flour then add the milk. Hopefully I won't have too much flour. So this in should be enough fat or oil in the pan to cook off the flour. I'm just go gonna go with that for about a minute just so it cooks the flour off and be ready to add the milk Quickly stir that, I don't want that to curdle. It's already thickened up. Just add a bit more milk.
I haven't put any salt or pepper in there just yet. The bacon's going to have the salt anyway. I'm just going to put some pepper in once I get the consistency I'm looking for. I think this will be it. warm up first, see what happens. And then add a bit more milk if need be. A little bit too thick for my liking. A bit more milk. I don't add too much though because I don't want it to be about the milk. I want to be able to taste the sausages, bacon, and maybe the onion. That's salt and pepper now. Actually, I'm going to just add the pepper. I think it's got enough salt in it already. I have tasted it, it's quite nice. I am going, going to add the biscuits back. So they warm up. take it off the heat and put the lid back on and maybe just put some coals on the lid just so it can heat from the top as well I don't really want to get it any thicker than what it is I'm happy with that all right let's have a look there we go biscuits with sausage gravy. Biscuits and sausage, bacon and onion gravy. Just how I wanted it.